Hey guys, how's it going? So I just got back from Vietnam and I'm sorry I haven't posted anything in like two, maybe three weeks. Yeah, it's been bad. You guys must really hate it when I go traveling because my uploading kind of thing goes out the window. Anyway, really sorry about that. I'm back and I'll be back for a while now, so yeah. Anyway, with the year basically over, a lot of you guys have been asking me to update my collection video. So, I guess that's what I'm doing now. Um, last time I did a collection video, you can check that out there. I do not know why it has an astronomical amount of views, but it does. I merged a BST and a collection video together. And in theory, that sounds really cool. You can show off your collection and you can see what's up for sale and trade at the same time. But it was a little bit more complicated than how I thought it would be. Because I live in Australia, the shipping from here to pretty much anywhere else in the world is like really expensive. Basically, a minimum of like 20 US dollars to kind of ship things over to the US or anywhere pretty much. And when you're selling a secondhand yo-yo and the shipping costs 20 bucks, your profit margin is basically covering up the cost of the shipping. And if it's not doing that, you're basically losing money by selling the yo-yo. So basically, I haven't sold very many and most of my yo-yos are still sitting here because basically it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to buy a secondhand yo-yo that's $20 more expensive than usual when you could just go to some of the generic yo-yoing sites like Yo-Yo Expert, it's a great place to buy stuff, and Yo-Yo Rewind, pretty much anywhere else. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is unless you're willing to spend 20 bucks extra on a secondhand yo-yo, you're better off at Yo-Yo Expert and Yo-Yo Rewind. Anyway, now that I've kind of got that out in the open, let's check out the collection and see what I've accumulated this year. So, this is pretty much the entire collection. I kind of um, ditched the whole foam case thing since I moved houses, or since my parents moved houses. Um, pretty much, this is it. This is what I've got. And um, I've got it on this kind of groovy shelf thing here. And because, well, basically I use a Kindle to read my books, I've got this space for yo-yos. So, yeah, let's check it all out. Most of it's still the same. There's a few different ones here and there. So, gold-plated Sentinel. Irony JPX, 2012. Two uh, 86400s. Irony JP, 2013. Yes, 2013. The word base I kept. The word base I used, I suppose. You guys know this one, Irony JPX. Oh, this is a new one. Um, Irony SG. This is basically, um, it was a budget kind of irony. It was, it was basically, Word was trying to make the irony into a time series kind of yo yo, make it a cheaper model for it. Never really got produced, but I got one when I won the Y Division at NYC, so that's pretty cool. Blue JPX. Silver JP 2012, uh, 2013, sorry. Word Minute that I use for 5A, it's actually really good for 5A. Um, and that's a Takeshi dice. Word Tray and the Irony GBA, um, a model before JP 2012. Okay, here, alrighty. This is going to be pretty difficult. All right, let's actually start on this side. Yo-Yo Factory Superstar. Yo-Yo Jam Meteor, Barracuda, uh, Duncan Barracuda that I got um, in New York actually, I traded a Format C for it. And while I was at Worlds, I got it signed by Janos Karan, so that was pretty cool. Yo-Yo Jam Phenom that I got, <laughs> that Hiroyuki Suzuki signed. Um, whoops, Ares that Marcus Co signed. Um, this was a gift. Um, from Edward from Singapore, this is a crucial uh, confection. 888X. Oh, this is new. Um, gradient. Yo yo, um, one drop gradient. Uh, Catalyst. One drop Burnside. Uh, Phenom. My um, yo yo factory shutter that Gentry Stein has signed. Yes, I went around at Worlds, finding every yo-yo celebrity I could, asking them to sign my yo-yos. I don't know, that's just me. 
Um, uh, Yo-Yo Jam Trinity, another Yo-Yo Factory Shutter, um, Yo-Yo Factory MVP, uh, Yo-Yo uh, Overdrive, two Yo-Yo uh, Yo -Yo Recreation Overdrives, Ricochet, this is what I got from Hanoi in Vietnam, um, yes, Super G, Too Hot, oh no this isn't a Super G, this is G Fun, sorry. Um, okay, I'm getting to the bimetals. Ooh, this is cool. I got this like today actually. Um, Yo Yo Factory Nightmare, Super Wide, Yo Yo Factory MVP 2, um, Yo Yo uh, King Yo Star Kit, I think that's what it's called. Um, Space Cowboy, this is actually a really good yo yo. I like this yo yo. Um, Yo-Yo Factory Checkpoint. This is my Yo-Yo Factory Super G. Raw Super Wide. Yo-Yo Recreation Drop Near. I've got a review on this, so if you want to check that out, click that thing over there. Yo-Yo Factory Raw Model. Axis Pulse Fire. I've got a review on this one as well, so if you want to check that out, click it in the same spot. Um, ooh. Sunzy VK. This is a bimetal yo-yo. I've gotten into the whole bimetal hype. This is pretty cool as well. Got this at MA States. Um, yo-yo Recreation Slepnir that I got signed, that Shinikido signed. That's pretty cool. Um, Chaser. Um, yo-yo Factory JK. Yo-yo Factory 888X Purple. Berserker, I really tried to get Peter Pong Cyrus, but I couldn't find him, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, Blue Yo Yo Recreation Sleptnir, and a Strive by Dement. Yes. Okay. In the whole plastic section, I got my premiere. There's a review on this one as well. So if you guys want to check that out, click it in the same spot. And if you guys want any reviews on any of the yo yo's, I'm showing off at the moment, just post a comment down below and I'll try and do it. Yo-Yo Jam Speeder, also signed by Hiroyuki Suzuki. Um, One Drop Rally, this is a pretty cool yo-yo. I'm thinking about reviewing this, what do you guys think? Yes? No? Post down below. Black Yo-Yo <laughs> sorry, Black Yo-Yo Jam Speeder. Red Yo-Yo Jam Legacy 2. North Star. One uh, Yo Yo Factory Glow Dynasty. Um, what's this? Uh, Yo Yo Jam. Is it SFX, I think? Eric Koloski Colorway Yo Yo Factory Replay. Yes, I did get myself one. Sort of. It's a long story. Solid Spinaxel New Breed. Yo Yo Jam Phenomism. Yo Yo Jam Atmosphere. Um, white Yo-Yo Jam Speedmaker. Another Yo-Yo Jam Atmosphere. Yo-Yo Jam Classic. Oh man, all this Yo-Yo Jam stuff. It's really sad to hear about Yo-Yo Jam closing down, actually. I was really into their stuff. And pretty much every player was in, like, the kind of period I was, so... Yeah, rest in peace, Yo-Yo Jam. Yo-Yo Jam Legacy. Yo-Yo Jam Dark Magic 2. Yo-Yo Jam Destiny. Ooh, this was a pretty cool one. So, um, I got this from a friend, and this is the Yo-Yo Jam Chaos. You guys may or may not know this, this is pretty much Eric Koloski's first signature Yo-Yo. It's very, it's kind of like a Hitman crossed with a Legacy. It's very nice, very different. Traded a Horizon for this. <laughs> so if you guys are wondering why I'm not doing a Horizon review, it's because I traded it for this. Yep, sorry about that. Anyway, Yo Yo Jam Fury, Yo Yo Jam New Breed, that was also signed by Eric Koloski, but it's fading now because I use this yo yo so much. This was signed by Eric Koloski as well. Um, yo Yo Jam Speeder, Yo Yo Factory GV88, Yo Yo Jam Kickside, Yo Yo Jam Legacy 2, Yo Yo Jam Legacy 1, that was signed by Andre Boulet. Now, that was actually a pretty special moment for me because the Yo-Yo Jam Legacy was my very first yo-yo and Andre's the person who taught me basically my first ever yo-yo tricks. So like, getting him to sign this yo-yo was 
pretty poetic, pretty poetic. Um, Yo-Yo Factory, uh, Starlight, Yo-Yo Jam Journey, another black Yo-Yo Jam Phenomism, whoops, sorry, Yo-Yo uh, Jam Revival, um, Velocity, Yo-Yo Jam Hitman, um, Yo-Yo Jam Dark Magic, the original one, Yo-Yo Jam Fever, Yo-Yo Factory Velocity, the new one. So that's like the old Velocity, this new Velocity. Haven't had a chance to try that one out yet. Um, Yo-Yo Jam Fever, Yo-Yo Jam One Star, Yo-Yo, no, it's not Yo-Yo Jam, Yo-Yo Factory One Star, Yo-Yo Factory One, and the really big Yo-Yo Factory Daydream. Okay, let's finally, oh, I missed out on a few. My off string stuff. Um, yo yo jam fiesta trez. This was actually a very good off string yo yo. I really enjoyed using this actually. Um, I bought, I got this in a prize pack at AMYC. Um, this is also signed by Brian Figueroa. The next one is probably my favorite off string yo yo at the moment, and this is the Jet Set EG. When I was hanging around Michael Nakamura, he was really tearing up and stuff, so I went to Yo Yo Expo and bought one. I also got him to sign it. And finally, um, oh, this is really embarrassing. I've completely forgotten the name and company of this yo-yo. Um, yeah, if I remember, I'll put a little thing up, but I've completely forgotten. I haven't used this yo-yo in so long. Okay, down here. Techyo, most of this stuff is just, you know, the generic beginner yo-yos that everyone starts off with. Um, I'll show you some of the more interesting stuff. Two modified Raiders, two um, Loop 1080s, a wooden ANYC one that I got at 2014 ANYC, Glow in the Dark Raider, Black Mamba. This is a very, very old school. This is actually like before my time old school. I'm not even sure of the significance of this yo yo, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of cool. Keizo Yo from Vui's magazine shoot thingy. Um, a school teacher gave me this actually, Coca-Cola Yo-Yo, two Yo-Yo Jam Unleashed, two Yo-Yo Jam Sunset Trajectories, oh this is really cool, I got this while I was at Dement HQ, um, it's a wooden axle, good fun to play with, um, yeah, this is kind of like a Yo Mega Brain, but it's like Yo Tech, it's basically the Australian equivalent of Yo Mega Brain, another, um, Modified Blue Raider, um, Sunset Trajectory, another Blue Raider, another Sunset Trajectory, another Modded Raider. Oh, this is interesting. Basically, in the Worlds, um, yeah, well, when you signed up for Worlds, they gave you one, not two, they gave you one World Yo Yo Contest Tokyo 2015 Looper. Now, for anyone who plays 2A, you kind of need two loopers. So it took me a really long time in trying to get another one down, but I finally hunted one down. And yeah, I've got a set of loopers right there. Limited edition. Two um, loop 1080s. Again, I kind of like that color better than that color though. So yeah. Um, a few higher boosters right over there. Yo Yo Jam Fiesta 1 and another Sunset Trajectory and a Gobi without the gaps. So, yeah, um, there's a few Yo Yo accessories that I could go into briefly. Yes, I will now that I've got the camera out already. So, yeah, Dynasty is still in its box. It's a clicker that I use for the VTD sometimes. Um, Word holster, Yo Yo Factory holster. IR pads, kind of running low at the moment. Um, tweezers, Yo Yo Factory, um, Allen keys, Yo Yo Factory bearing tools, spin gear string cutters, Duncan string cutters, Yo Yo Jam loop, Yo Yo Factory loop, just the general stuff that most Yo Yo's have wrong. This is my gloves compartment. I got these while I was in Vietnam, they're studded. Kind of look pretty badass. Um, they're three fingered gloves. These are my normal 
cotton hand soap cleaning gloves that I use and fake for a really long time. Uh, black something speed glove. I use these at AP and I also use them at um, AYC 2015. That was really cool. And these are the new feeling gloves that apparently everybody uses now. I use this for my world semi-final routine. So yeah. And then basically string. So blueprint, blueprint. I'm not really sure of any of the other brands, but yeah. That is basically my yo-yo collection. So yeah, that's my updated yo-yo collection. And basically all of the stuff there is either the stuff I've accumulated over the years that's still there from the last video and basically some stuff that I've gotten in the last year or so, whether it's been bought traveling, gifts, all of it. That's pretty much my collection. That's all my stuff there. If you guys are interested in any of it, remember that it's gonna be $20 more expensive and you're gonna have to deal with a long point of shipping. So if anything here is, if you want anything like generic here, like a, I don't know, a dark magic or an atmosphere or a, I don't know, a replay or something, you're better off going to the yo-yo stalls. It'll be cheaper, faster, and more efficient for you. It, that is my collection for 2015, and it's gonna be really interesting to see what the new year brings. So yeah, I know it's not new year yet. It might be by the time I upload this, but yeah. In case I don't get to say it, happy new year everyone, and yeah, see you guys next time.